So you can see by the Garmin Instinct that we're using for GPS that real MISA, which is where we've plotted the head star of the constellation Orion on the soil of Egypt, we're getting right near it. So I wanted to make this, this uh, little statement about just some things going on before we get there. Off in the distance there, you can see a uh, six-pillared structure. This is where last year we, we believed the head star of MISA was. And so it's almost like we would expect to find, within a certain area, several manifestations. So over there, what we found last year was a half pyramid and a presentation station, and it's in the middle of nowhere. There's no roads near it, no nothing. We wondered what it means. So I interpreted, we're interpreting this, part of my job is not just to find what ancient pyramids are at these sites, but what is there now? What is the Alpha and the Omega, the guiding eye of Providence? What is it telling us? And so look at this. Look at these formations that are in the area where we think the real mice is. That's like got a shape of a pyramid. That one has the shape of a pyramid. You don't see in the nature of the desert square-topped sand drifts. They're always rounded. Look at that. That's got a that's got a pointed top. It's like an angle on the, you know a corner of you know Jeffrey's pyramid or something. And several of these are the same way. So the area where the head star is, is a valley of pyramids, but not ones that some ancient pharaoh built. But this is a pyramid valley. I'm gonna call this pyramid valley. So here's what I'm starting, the way I'm, you know, this is the lens I'm giving you, is that there's obviously not an ancient pyramid. The, I'm looking at Khufu, Khafre, and Menkara, the belt stars, they're so big. And if you learn their orientation, you can know whatever whatever angle you are from Giza because the the uh, the situational positioning of Khufu and Khafre will tell you exactly northwest, southeast where you are. So we can so those are the belt stars. And they're beautiful and powerful. There are no big obvious pyramids here, but there are sand pyramids in what I'm calling Pyramid Valley here. So that says to me, the way I'm doing this, you're on the right track. That's what the Alpha and Omega is saying to me. You're on the right track. I've left these signs. I've, I let the earth get sculpted here to pyramids, and you're following this star pyramid thing. So we're, we're about to go, and you're going to go with us because no one's ever done this. I've searched the Internet. I wish I could find somebody who tried to chase the stars of Orion onto the soil of Egypt. I'm working by myself, and I'm not boasting. I would like to have five compatriots. You know, somebody in Yugoslavia is doing it. i got a friend in Russia that's doing it. We've written books about it. As far as I know, I'm the only one. So when I say you're going with us right now to the, the first time, the actual head star of Mysa, you are. And so that's the context. So Ryan and I had to determine if we'd be able to get out because once you go down there, and we did determine we'll be able to climb out of here. So we're now going to head down into the Valley of the Pyramids and find the head star of Mysa. So come join us over there. But with our newest, this is it. Now, if you look at this on Google Earth, because if you're reading about this, I'll probably have you know coordinates in there for you you'll see that there's like a square around this point. Like this point is like the center of a square. Now in the work we've been doing with uh, Fibonacci spirals and with other things, we've come to some important points that are critical, like a, a sacred circle we found in the Giza Plateau. We found the center of it. And sometimes, you know, the most important part, there's nothing there. It's Since this is the center, it's really what this is that's important and the center point might not be a critical part of the construction because I say a lot to say we had a debate when we all looked at it some some thought that it's the square that you'll see from Google Earth around which is the center the square looks like it could have been an ancient uh, Egyptian site because if you get to looking at these sites you know they're, they're usually there's you know a valley temple there but often there's a square that marks off the whole temple the whole complex and it looks like it just looks like, and of course you'd have to do, and I'm, I don't have the money or the time, but you know, or, you know, or I'd never get the permissions, but you'd look and see what appear to be the borders if, if you're digging down looking if there is some kind of structure. That these canyons, because there's canyons, that the square that's formed that you can see from Google Earth, it's like canyons, okay? So why do a canyon form a square? You know, I can see a canyon, the like Grand Canyon's not a square. You know, it's a long thing. So why is our canyon there, over here, over there, making this a big square? 
So it seems like there it could be that if you did the archaeology, you know, got the money, spent all the years it would take digging this out, you might find a complex here. Thank you.